Hey, compassionate people, welcome to Vegan News. Let's dive right into today's stories. A 2016 survey conducted, done with a thousand Americans who consume meat, eggs, or dairy, revealed that they were swayed by the misleading advertising of the animal ag industry and of grocery stores. 65% of the consumers surveyed believe that free range eggs and chickens come from a pasture somewhere, you know, nice green fields and, and just beautiful red barn and all that nonsense. When in reality, there is no legal definition under the FDA of what free range actually means. It doesn't exist. It's just a made up marketing term. 63% of those surveyed believed that cage free meant that the animals were never in a cage and they had access to a wide range outside to roam free and do what they wished. When in reality, it just means they're stuffed on a floor and shelving in a unit and they only have to have a window of a certain size to the outside with a little cage screen over it. 60% of those surveyed believe that the humane meat, dairy, and eggs labels meant that the animals had a better quality of life, were raised more properly, and killed humanely, when in fact, there's no legal definition of the word humane either, and they are not treated better. 46% of those in the survey believed that the term organic meant that the animals had a better quality of life as well as access to the outdoors, and they were not treated as poorly. When in fact, that's not true either. And again, the label organic means absolutely nothing and has no legal definition or protection under the law. 46% of those surveyed believe that the term natural as used on products meant that the animals had a better quality of life. When in fact, they do not. And they also believed that natural referred to their treatment and how they were quote unquote processed. I'm using terms from the article here. When in fact, it again means absolutely nothing and has no legal protection under the law. There is no definition as defined under government regulations whatsoever. According to Animal Equality, 56 billion land animals are slaughtered each year by the animal ag industry. Even those treated in the least objectionable ways and humane ways are still treated as money-making objects. They have become nothing more than machines for the profit of companies and farmers. Joshua Williams of Calvert, Alabama shot a rare piebald buck. Let's cut the video of it. Take a look at this buck. Joshua Williams couldn't believe it when a rare piebald deer stepped out of the woods Saturday morning. Yes, I thought it was a ghost first. I just watched it and watched it. It got like 75 yards on me. I got a good shot in the right front shoulder. It dropped on the spot. And finding one as large as this one is even more unusual. That's very rare, just simply because when people do see a piebald deer, it's, it is so rare that they want to shoot it as quick as they can so that they have proof that they saw it or that they can have it skinned in, in a rug made out of it or, or, or you know, just have proof pretty much. So they shoot them before they, before they have a chance to get to that size. So what do you do with a deer like this? A lot of people offer me good money for the deer. But I'm thinking keep it for myself. William says he's ordering a full body mount to put it up on display in his kitchen. Many are mourning the loss of the rare animal on social media, and I'm not and, and many are non-vegans. It's an opportunity for us to chime in and speak with them about other animals that they are harming as well. A delicious restaurant called Toad Style, all vegan of course, in Brooklyn, New York City, has blown up in a big way online. They have the typical stoner vegan kind of food. All of their food is no soy, no GMO, and no palm oil as well. The entire restaurant is decorated with kung fu memorabilia all over the place from all kinds of cool old movies. I myself am a huge old kung fu movie fan. I got a lot of them. So this is like a great marriage made in heaven for me. Delicious, incredible food doused in vegan cheeses and burgers and grease and fried cheeses. And awesome kung fu stuff all over the place. Including, there's also some Star Wars memorabilia as well there. So that's right up my alley as well also. And finally, I want to end today's episode with, uh, again, another kind of uh, petition slash way to help out the vegan community. There's a cheese shop that's really well known in Portland, Oregon called Vitopia. Owner Matthew Govin took over back in July, quit his stable IT job, cashed in his savings and everything he had to purchase and save it because it was going to close and he wanted the vegan landmark to remain. He currently has a campaign up on GoFundMe to raise $15,000. They're at $2,000 right now, so they don't need too much more, really. And as a cheese lover myself, one day I would love to make a pilgrimage here if we can keep it alive. So 
As always, there will be links down below to all of today's stories and to the story on Vtopia and a link to their GoFundMe and their Facebook page as well. As always, thank you guys so much for joining us. Give us a like. It really helps out more than you think. And subscribe if you, if you want more content every day at 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Hey, Bobo. I know.